Okay, today we're going to be learning about linear equations and our focus is going to be on grade 8 and in the Common Core Standards we're going to be working in the Expressions and Equations section. And our main standard we're going to be focusing on is 8EE7B, which specifically states Solve linear equations with rational number coefficients, including equations whose solutions require expanding expressions using the distributive property and collecting like terms. So in order to accomplish this standard today, we have a few learning goals that are going to keep us in check along our way throughout our solutions, which are to clearly solve linear equations, and we want to make sure that we learn how to combine like terms. And we also want to make sure that we use the distributive property, which chapter 9 in our book states is the idea that one or two factors in a product can be decomposed or split into two or more parts. So in order to accomplish our goals today, we're going to be working with a few different problems. We're going to start out simple and move to a little higher level of difficulty problems and we can get started. So our first problem is 2 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 12 and we can classify this as a linear equation because it has an equal sign and when we use the distributive property we do it with what we call the expression which is everything before the equal sign so our first step is to distribute so we want to distribute our 2 to the x and our 2 then to the 4 and in order to do that we're going to multiply so our first step is 2 times x which is 2 x then we just need to bring down our positive sign and then we multiply our 2 and our 4 which is going to give us 8 and then we just bring down and rewrite everything after the equal sign so now we want to isolate the x or solve for x so in order to do that we are going to try and get the 2 and the 8 over to this side of the problem so in order to do that, we are going to subtract 8 from the positive 8. And since we did it to this side, we want to make sure we do it to this side. So we're going to subtract 8 from the 12. So these are going to cancel out, and that's going to give us 2x is equal to 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. So now we have 2x, which is multiplied, so we're going to divide. And since we did it to this side, we have to do it to the other side of the equal sign. So that's going to give us, cross out our 2's, x is equal to 4 divided by 2 is going to give us 2. So we have successfully isolated the x because we only have x on this side and our numbers on this side. So some reminders of working through these problems are that we always distribute first and then we want to isolate or solve for x. So we're gonna move on to another problem now which is a little bit more difficult but I know we can do it. So we have 5 times the quantity 10x plus 20 is equal to 50. So once again, we start with distributing our 5 first to our 10x because we want to make sure we distribute to every single term inside the parentheses. So first of all, we have 5 times 10x, which is 50. And don't forget to bring down your x. That could be problematic if you forget that part. Bring down our positive sign. And then 5 times 20 is going to give us 100 and then recopy everything after the equal sign equals 50 so now once again we want to isolate for x so we only want x on this side of the equation so I'm gonna start out by subtracting a hundred and then not forgetting to do it to this side also 
So bring down our 50x equals. Now here we have what we're going to have is a negative number. So don't forget to bring down your negative sign because if not, your ending answer is going to not be correct. So 50 minus 100 is going to give us negative 50. So now we have 50x is equal to negative 50. So I'm going to divide 50x by 50. Make sure to do it on that side also. So now we have our 50s can cancel out. And we successfully have only x on that side. And negative 50 over 50 is going to give us negative 1. Now, if we would have forgotten that, we would have only had 1, which would have been wrong. So always make sure you're aware of your negative signs. So if we go back to our learning goals, we have, we are on our way to solving linear equations. We have not yet combined like terms, but that will be coming up in our next equation. And we have used the distributive property, which is shown when we distribute our 5 to every term inside of the parentheses. So we can move on to our next problem now. So now we have 4 quantity 8x minus 4x minus 2 equals 24. So once again, our first step is always to distribute that number on the outside. So we have 4 times 8x, which is going to give us 32x. Make sure you just don't put 32 because that would be wrong. So now we want to have 4 times negative 4x, which is going to give us negative 16x and now our last term is negative 2 so 4 times negative 2 is going to give us negative 8 equals 24 always just bring down what you have on that side of the equal sign and now we can combine like terms because I see we have two terms that have only x in it so we can combine those right now before we isolate for x. So 32x minus 16x is just going to give us 16x and then we bring down our negative 8 and our equals 24. So now we're going to continue on our way to solving for x right here. So I'm going to start by adding 8 to that side and then adding 8 to this side and these are going to cancel out and we have 16 x is equal to 24 plus 8 is equal to 32 so now our last step in this problem is going to be to divide by 16 And here our 16's will cancel out, so we have successfully gotten x. And 32 divided by 16 is 2. And that is our answer. And so as you see in this problem, we now have combined like terms. And we've used the distributive property, and we have learned to solve linear equations. And for every equation, I have a steps that you need to remember to always do when you are solving linear equations. Your first step is to always distribute the number outside out, out distribute the number outside of the parentheses and you want to remember to combine any like terms like we did here with our 32x minus 16x and then always remember that your last step is to solve for x. You just want x all by itself on this side. So if we show our last problems here one more time, we see that we distributed throughout all of them. Then we solved for x by doing whatever we did on this side. We remembered to do on that side. And we successfully got x equals for every problem.